Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at scientific notation. That's a special notation that we have to make it easier and simpler to write really big and sometimes really small numbers. In this video we're going to concentrate though on using scientific notation to rewrite very big numbers. But let's start with a simpler, slightly smaller example. So here we have the example 300,000. Now, we know that we can write 300,000 as 3 times 100,000. And we also know so far that 100,000 is really the same thing as 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which we can write with an exponent 10 to the power 5. That 10 to the power 5 simply means that 10 is being multiplied by itself 5 times. So that means that we can rewrite 300,000 instead of as 3 times 100,000, we can write it as 3 times 10 to the power 5. And that means that 300,000 can be rewritten as 3 times 10 to the power 5, and this over here, this expression over here, that is what we call scientific notation. Basically, what we have is a very simple, small number out front, and then the largeness of the number, in this case the hundred thousands, that part of the number is represented in exponential form like that. Okay, now I want to show you a little trick that you can use to figure out what the value of this exponent is when you convert a, a very large number into exponential form, in other words, into scientific notation. So let's take a look at the 300,000 example again. Let's, for instance, let's for argument's sake say we didn't know what the exponent was yet. So the x was still unknown. All right, well, we want to get the 300,000 dot zero into basically three dot zero. So that's where the decimal point is. So what I want to find out is what must I do to the decimal point to get the number from looking like this to looking like that? Well, we can have a look. We move the decimal point one place to the left. Well, we've made this number 300,000. We've basically made it into 30,000. We've made the number smaller. But we need to compensate for that. We can't just change the number. We can now say that if we move the decimal point one unit here to the left, this then becomes 30,000, this part of the number over here, multiplied by 10. But we can move the decimal point another bit. Now it becomes 3,000 multiplied by 100. If we move the decimal point another point to the left, it becomes 300 multiplied by 1,000. Move it one more place, it becomes 30 multiplied by 10,000. And finally, 3 multiplied by 100,000. So basically the trick is, the number of places that you need to move the decimal point is the same as the exponent that we put on the power of 10. So in other words, we now know that the exponent up here is an exponent of 5 because when we move the decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units in this way to the left, that is the same as multiplying by 100,000, which is another way of saying 10 to the power 5. Let's have a look at using this little trick now in this example. So in this example, we've got 45 million. And we want to write that in scientific notation. In other words, uh, with 10 to the power something. What is that something? Well, let's have a look at where we need to move the uh, decimal point to. To start off with, we know that 45 million is the same thing as 45 times 1 million. That bit is fine. And we know that 1 million is basically 10 to the power 6. It's 10 multiplied by itself 6 times. All of that we should know and be comfortable with. So we know that 45 million is written as 45 times 10 to the power 6. That is one way of writing it, and this is scientific notation. 
but we can also write it as 4.5 times 10 to the power 7. If we move the decimal point from here to there, well, we have to compensate for that move by multiplying by another factor of 10. And that changes the exponent up 1 from 6 to 7. Okay. So, all of that is settled. We know that 45 million can either be written as 45 times 10 to the 6, in other words, 45 times 1 million, or it can be written as 4.5 times 10 million. But let's do the moving of the decimal point and see if we come to the same conclusions. Well, let's move the decimal point one place, two places, three places, four, five, six. Well, now we've got 45 times 10 to the power six. One more place, we've got 4.5 times 10 to the power seven. Let's have a look at this example. 65,932, it's a smallish number. We probably wouldn't, in most cases, bother to write this in scientific notation, but it's just a nice example to work with now. So let's have a look at that. The decimal point, remember, is over here. We're going to move it one place, two, three, four places over to the left. That means that this number can actually be rewritten as six point. 5932 times 10 to the power 4. We move the decimal point four places to the left, therefore the exponent is an exponent of 4. Here's a nice, nice big number to work with. This is the distance of the Earth from the Sun. Obviously, it's been rounded off, um, but it's approximately 149,600,000 kilometers away. All right, let's see if we can rewrite this number now in, uh, e in exponential format or in scientific notation. So we're going to move the decimal point from over here, one place, two, three, four, five, six. If we move it six places, well, that is this number here in the front is 149.6. We've moved the decimal point six places. So that would have to be multiplied by 10 to the power 6 kilometers. But we could go a little bit further. We could continue to move the decimal point, perhaps another one or even two spaces. Now we can rewrite this number as 1.496. But now because we've moved the decimal point 8 places, we need to multiply that by 10 to the power 8. All of these numbers, this very large number, 149.6 times 10 to the power 6, or 1.496 times 10 to the power 8, all of those numbers mean exactly the same thing. Each of them means 149,600,000 kilometers. That is the power of scientific notation. We can write very big numbers in a slightly more easy to read format, and we can also choose exactly where we would like the decimal point. In this case, 149.6, but then it's times 10 to the power 6, or 1.496, but then it's 10 to the power 8. Here's another example. The mass of the Earth is 5.972 times 10 to the power 24 kilograms. This example is going to really show us the power of exponential notation or scientific notation. This number here is written in scientific notation because it's nice and short and concise using the exponential form 10 to the power 24. But what if we want to write this number out in full? Well, let's take a look. We start off here with kind of the stem 5.972. But instead of moving the decimal point to the left, we're going to have to move it to the right, in a sense, undoing the scientific notation. We know that we originally moved the decimal point 24 places to the left. So to undo that and get the number out in full again, we have to move the decimal point 24 places, but in the opposite direction. We're going to undo the scientific notation. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's move the decimal point one place, 
two places, three places, but as soon as we move it the fourth place, well, we can't just have an empty unit here. We need to put in a zero in there. Five places, we need to put another zero in there. Six places, well, we need to put another zero in there. It's becoming a little bit tedious, so let's do the rest of the number in groups of three. So there's the next three steps, 7, 8, and 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You can see that this number is pretty big. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 to 3, 24, and the, finally the decimal point lands up over there. We moved it 1, 2, 3, all the way, 24 places to get it over there. That's where the power of 24 comes in. So to undo that, we have to move the decimal point back 24 places to move it back to where it was. This is now what the number originally was. 5,972. <clears throat> so that's that bit. How do we read the rest of the number? Well, we can group this in three. That is trillion and then maybe do billion, no, sorry, million, million. I got that all wrong. 5,972 billion, million, million. That's how heavy the, uh, the Earth is. So there we can see how we can move from exponential scientific notation back to the original number. We move the decimal point back out, but as soon as we do that, we need to start filling in some of these missing zeros, or we can change very big numbers into scientific notation by moving the decimal point and then compensating for that movement by multiplying by 10 to whatever power we need to, which uh, corresponds to the number of decimal, the number of places we've moved the decimal point.